You know, Vortex, I do piano punk because it makes sense to me. I hate this world that I live in, and I think that self-expression is the only treatment of mental illness. And this whole channel is all about mental illness, in case you didn't know. What they call mental illness is just the inability to cope with living in this shit world. Okay? This world is fucking retarded. And the most of the people in it are retarded. And I don't mean that as a pejorative towards actually mentally challenged people, by the way. I ain't got any problem with actually mentally challenged people. In fact, I empathize with them because they didn't make the choice. You know, there are plenty of people that are challenged because they choose to be challenged. They repeatedly put themselves in situations that aren't good for them, and then they have shitty politics that enable that sort of behavior. Why? 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 Why, bitch? Why? Okay. 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 Bye. Bye. Sorry. I shouldn't have reacted. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeep. I'm sorry. They couldn't hear me. Aren't you glad that I don't have obvious road rage? <laughs> you should hear my dad. My dad is like always yelling about everybody. But yeah. Sometimes I react like that because like, yeah, I don't know what somebody's doing and it pisses me off and then I realize what they're doing and then I feel like a fucking idiot. And I'm like, dude, you're just like all these people on Twitter. You're just like all of them. But yeah, I think that I do this channel to hold myself accountable. So speaking of accountability, I was thinking about drugs. <laughs> I was thinking about how much I love drugs. And I was thinking about how they're probably holding me back. But I hate that. I don't want that to be the truth, but it is. Because my house is such a mess, and I was thinking, you know, if I use pot, I might be motivated to clean it. And so I think I gotta take another break. I gotta fast. I gotta fast from my favorite plants because I'm not doing what I need to be doing. And I know why. But at least I know that. You know? I acknowledge that that's probably the reason. It's not the entire reason. But it's probably part of it. I wish I was a good musician. I'm such a diehard fan of music. And I'm so jealous of actual musicians that can play their instruments. But that shouldn't stop me from playing instruments the way that I want to play them. You know? I think it's really important that everybody does what they can do. It's really important that people live up to their potential. And I think that there's a lot of stuff that, that I say that nobody else is gonna say in the way that I say it anyway. And I'd be a fucking coward if, if I didn't do what I'm doing. So, you know, people that insist, well, you need to do it like this, and you need to go out with me. You're a coward if you don't go out on a date with me, you know? Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, you fucking sim master. Get the fuck off my channel. Luckily, I don't even have to say that. They just do it because they can't take the rejection. But... I think there are different levels of cowardice. You know, I've definitely like been in relationships and I've been in love and I've, I've you know, extended myself far beyond my means. And I shouldn't have done that, but I did. But it's like, I can safely say that I've done a lot of things that, that people would accuse me of not doing. So like, I know for a fact that like, it just doesn't work out for me. And I think it's cowardice to, you know, deny who you are 
and deny what you're supposed to do because you're trying to please people. And I could never satisfy him anyway. That's what's so funny about it. It's like every single dude that I've ever attempted to date was never satisfied with me because, you know, I wasn't able to successfully be in that relationship. You know, I just go somewhere else mentally and that's not fair to them. It's not fair to me. Um, they deserve to be with somebody that's actually there. You know, I read a lot about these dudes that like, they've been with somebody for so long and, and now she doesn't want to have sex with him anymore, you know? He's still living up to his end of the bargain. He's still paying the mortgage. He's still taking care of the bitch. He's still raising her kids, you know? And she just doesn't want to sleep with him anymore because of her libido. And I mean, I get it. From like the female perspective, I get it because like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've been with people for six months and felt like I've been married to them for 50 years. Like it was terrible. So I don't know why, like if you know you're like that, why would you torture yourself? But I think it's an age thing and I think it's a woman thing. And I think that like, when you've been with somebody for so long, you just get sick of them. You, you can't force yourself to be excited. So I see all angles of that, but it's just terrible. All the way around, it's terrible. And that's why I don't really agree with marriage. Like, unless you're like truly committed to it, And I think that you probably should be religious, you know, because when shit's hard, like you have that to fall back on, you know? Oh, look, look, look. Protects. I was told that's a concrete mixer. It's not, it's not a cement truck. It's a, it's a mixer. Aw. Aren't you so glad you got to see that? I am. I am. And I'm going to project right now. You should be glad too, Vortex. You should be glad too. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, like, I legitimately enjoy my life for the most part. There are some aspects of it that I don't enjoy because there are plenty of aspects of life that are not fun at all. Okay? Like, you ever have to take a really painful shit? That's not fun. You, you ever, you ever, uh, been sick? You ever been sick for, like, non-CDC-related reasons? <laughs> that sucks. You ever had somebody break your heart? Somebody that you thought you were going to be with for the rest of your life, and they didn't value you as much as you valued them? You ever been in public school? I mean, <laughs> there, there's plenty of reasons to not enjoy life, which is why you have to make up your own reasons to enjoy life. Like, happiness is, is a work in success, okay? You, you really have to actively try to be happy. I think that this is something that is like totally lost on people because pharmaceutical companies exist. They expect a pill to solve their problems. And you know, I know that self-help has its place, but you know, Carlin said this a long time ago, like that's not self-help, that's help. So, if, if you really want to be happy, you probably should figure that out. Because if it's somebody else's life motto, it's probably not going to work. I mean, it might work for the time being, but if it's not yours, it's probably not going to mean that much. Like, that's why piano punk means so much to me. And that's why my, my, my music, like the, the music that I listen to, like this band that I'm obsessed with, The Replacements, it's like I feel like they're mine. I know, I know that they didn't, mu they didn't make music for only me, but I feel like they did. <laughs>